Hi there. Happy New mm-hmm. Year. Happy New Year to you. Thank you. Um, I'm checking for a friend of mine who was plowed over by a horse. Oh. And she's in her mid 70s. Her shoulder was broken. Um, and um, either dislocated the arm. It It's a mess. Now, yeah. yeah. And so the swelling is one of the issues. She needs to get that down. She's in a location where there's a lockdown because of the weather. Okay. And uh, they don't have any specialist in the hospital in her area. So she's three days with this extreme pain. Um, she needs to be in a sling. Yeah. But in the meantime, you know, she has a bunch of oils. Uh, and I'm just trying to find out what she can use to help until she can get this taken so, care of. So th- I would say there's there's four things that like I'm going to throw out there. Um, so first off, um, just to help manage the pain, um, I would do internally either galbanum or myrrh. Um, and like two or three drops, like the galbanum, you could probably get away with putting it on the wrist, but um, the myrrh needs to be internal and it could be either or, it doesn't need to be both of them, but one of them I would do probably two to three times a day internally. And it, it will um, take the edge off the pain, which, you know, even if we go, well, I'm not really in that much pain, I'm, I'm uncomfortable, but it takes this like weird tension out of the body that is just because of the injury or the pain and everything. But then, she has the myrrh, but okay. she's, there's no male. Uh, and so uh, it's a tiny bit that I had sent her a while back. Okay. So um, can she do inhalations at least? Because I don't uh, think it's much. Yeah. I, I mean, it's better than nothing. Right. And, right. and so um, if, if like, just have her inhale it as much as she can throughout the day. Okay. And what about, um, does she happen to have, like, black cumin at all or anything like that? Um, I think she's got some marjoram. I think... Uh, I can't remember exactly what I gave her, but I gave her like about 40 different oils. Okay. So black, black cumin would be ideal for something like that. It would reduce the inflammation and um, help the body shift into a little bit more of a healing mode. Mm-hmm. Um, if not that, then something else anti-inflammatory, um, even if it's just like frankincense or. Yeah, or, I think I sent um, that to her. Okay, have her take some frankincense, but see if she has black cumin. Like black cumin would be better. Um, um, and then uh, something like helichrysum topically on that, just to, that. okay, mm-hmm. just to reduce um, bruising and pain and reduce some of the inflammation and and help unwind the injury side itself. And then she could rotate that with the marjoram. Like the marjoram is always good for, for um, like the spasms, the tension, and like with it being dislocated, like the the circulation down her arm is like if it was really dislocated, it's it's like you know it's like a partial dislocation versus a full dislocation. The 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 circulation down the arm is is an issue and that's even the swelling is the venous flow back to the heart is compromised and um you know uh keeping everything as loose as possible is is good for that um i mean i try to do that I don't want to throw too many things at her, but like, like if she could just do do those, that would make her a lot more comfortable until yeah. she could get to the doctor. Yeah. And can can you get a feel for anything right now with her? Because I mean, she's locked down. There, there's no no traffic going out around where she's living. It's town is shut down. So the horse, give me an idea, like the horse kind of ran over her or like knocked, yes, her, knocked to the her down. Yeah, knocked her and down. And which, which um, arm got dislocated? Oh, uh, back. Her left shoulder. Left. Okay. Uh huh. 
Her left shoulder was broken, also her left upper arm. So, and she knows it's broken because- um, They did an x-ray. Okay, so she's seen a doctor. She just hasn't seen like an orthopedic guy yet. She she saw the doctor and then um, they didn't have any specialists. So they sent her home and uh, were trying to arrange stuff. And then gotcha. the snow and it got locked down. Yeah. So she could use a little energetic work from everybody, guys, by the way. <laughs> okay. so. It's a bad situation. So did they put her on pain meds or what did they do? They gave her? her some pain meds, but that's that's just not doing a whole lot yeah. for her. I mean, with something like this, you want to kind of like go a little bit old school because you're, you know, mm -hmm. like you said, you're, de you're dealing with limited resources. Um, have her cut her carbs down quite substantially and increase the amount of protein that she's taking. Don't do this for a long period of time, but it it will act as a like kind of a little bit of a weird anti-inflammatory. Um, mm -hmm. It's a little bit hard on the kidneys, but for a couple of weeks, it could be it could be fine. Okay. Um, the 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 carbs would contribute to the inflammation. And so, um, you know, for the most times we don't ever talk about this stuff because we put things in place that are much more substantial. And so it's just like, yeah, you know, it starts to be too many things to do. But like here, when you're dealing with limited resources, you start doing whatever you can. And this is um, the yeah, pioneer, pioneer, uh, pioneer survival right now. She's out right. way out. And she needs to increase her water intake. Okay. Yeah. Make sure she's getting, like, push the fluids. Like she needs okay. plenty of fluids. Doesn't need to be yeah. excessive, but mm -hmm. she needs to constantly like the the drinking will keep the lymphatic movement happening, and um, will take a little bit of the edge off the pain. Right. Now yeah. I was wondering about parsley for her out of the spice cabinet. I mean, stuff like that. that not going to do no. enough. Okay. Yeah, not going to do enough. Some teas. Some teas. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the... Yeah, try let, let's see what she has as far as what we we've talked about mm -hmm. and the water and everything, and then let's go from there. Okay. Um, yeah, you know where where is she at by the way? Uh, she's out in Wyoming. Wyoming, okay. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Yeah, let's just see what this does for her, and then we'll kind of go from there. Yeah. Maybe, and, in, like, interact with her and then email us in about a day and let us okay. know how some of this was working, and we'll, right. we'll try to augment the best that we can. All righty. And um, on my 